Hi everyone, welcome back to another cut and with Chris. Going for my face shave now, I've just finished off a head shave. Oh, there's the cut there. Hey, look at that. Tiny little blob. I think that was actually the spot that I've just taken the head off, but I knew I had a bit of blood somewhere, that's obviously the main culprit. So I did use today for my face head shave, I'm gonna use the exact same products on my face shave. Noble Osso Bar Bar. Now I understand I've used this quite a few times this year already, or over the last few months at least, but it's outstanding. Now I've already got my brush sort of half loaded, I use this for my head shave as well. This is my 30ml Whip Dog Bore inside my turn and shave handle. It's just a beautiful little stubby type brush. So straight in, I'm just going to reload the brush. Just going to dip the tips lightly. Now what I find with bore brushes essentially is that you really need to load that brush heavy. You need a lot of soap in there. They do tend to, no matter what bore brush it is, eat the lather a little bit. The worst of that, more than likely, well mostly comes for me with some old brushes, the very, very hungry, hungry brushes. So you will lose a lot of your lather from it. So let's wet the face. Scoop the excess off the tub. Which shouldn't be too much. I've got two days growth. I'll just be doing the first pass with the razor, with a straight, and then I'll finish off with the carve open comb. Right, I'm gonna try my synthetic way of lathering with this brush and just see how it goes. So dip the tips. Start painting in. No Balotta shaving soap is a very thirsty soap, but loves a drink. I'm just constantly dipping the tips of the brush. I dip the tips down about that far. So I'm pretty much just, just the tips, nothing else. I think we're pretty much there. Just one more dip, I think. All I'm looking for is the soap that's on my face, the, the paste, to be pretty much translucent all over, which it is now. You can see through to my skin there. I'm just going to scoop that onto there, display the brush. And what should happen is you should now have enough water content in the soap that's on your face and in your knot to finish off your lather or close to. Like I say, this is a very, very thirsty soap. But you'll see how this technique of lathering. Now, this works much better with a synthetic, but you'll see by the time I've finished whipping this up, it will work with pretty much any brush. Does just need just a little bit more water. Look at that, wow. There is the brush, loaded up with glossy, dense, creamy lather. And here we go. Just gonna 
I'll start the shave off today with the Henkel's Friedo 7 8 which is a beautiful razor, shaves very, very well. Not as smooth as my Druidic custom razor, but nonetheless, shaves excellently. So here we go, pull the hair up, pull the hair up, pull my head up, skin up tight. Plenty of residual slickness, so I can't, I can use this. This soap with the straight razor for buffing, it does work. Whew! Wow! That's it. That's where real tuggy. <laughs> Oh, I can't use that. Wow, I was not expecting that. So I'm just going to switch over to the Drew Dick and just see if it's just my hair or whether it's that razor. <sighs> yeah, it's the razor. Wow, it brought tears to my eyes that. Yeah, wow, what a difference in the blade edge. I've always said this one has been better. But this is the first time that I've really noticed it. There we go. So it looks like the Henkel's free rear is almost unusable now on the face. I don't know whether it's because I didn't strop after my head shave. It felt, for the head shave, very, very smooth. So I'm a bit surprised. I don't know what's happened along the way there. It could quite be the fact that I did use it for my head shave and didn't strop it again. So I'll give that a good strop. For next time, and we'll see how we go. Now this is I am cold water shaving today, which is nice. It's very hot over here at the moment. I've got a stretch of about eight to ten days of 30 plus degree heat Celsius. Right, 
So let's finish the shave off now with the Christopher Bradley from Calf Shaving Company. Open comb C plate, 0.85 blade gap. Beautiful little razor, shaves beautifully. Unfortunately, at this stage, I'm unable to give you any heads up as to when this razor might be available. Well, not the razor, but the base plate, the open comb base plates. I don't know when Chris over at Calve. is planning on releasing them. Right, and just lather up again. Oh, super slick. Feels great on your skin as well. It's a really, it gives a lovely film of protection. Now this razor blade is on about this 12 or 13 shave now. And it's like a hot knife through butter. It is so smooth. Beautiful. shave that's so close right i'm going to rinse off the soap from the sub i always rinse my soap tubs i take all the excess lather and proton lather and everything off i probably use a micro millimeter just rinsing it just get this thing a bit nice clean soaps every time i use them it feels like you're using a brand new soap every time rinse the brush off which performed brilliantly again such a such a good knock you know if you if you're in the market for a bow or not, and you want something just a little bit different, this one ticks all the boxes. It's, it's not super dense, but it's dense enough. The tips are soft. It's got a very strange sort of build-up of the knot. It's not uniform at all, which I'll show you right now. You'll see how it all twists and turns. I'll show you once I get past the soap. I'm just going to dry off this razor blade. The other one. Right, 
Right, so the soap for today was Bar Bar from Noble Otter Shaving Company. Absolutely brilliant soap. Smells great, performs better than it smells, way better than it smells, and it smells great. It leaves an amazing, the post shave is spot on, it really is. And for my money, there's not much better on the market, if any. That's probably my favourite base still at this point in time, even in front of things like Talon Steel. Missed one bloody good bit. I just missed one here then. The brush, right now, the brush is the turn and shave custom, and it's got a 30 mil whip dog bore in there. So, there is the brush itself, it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But there, you see how what I mean about the knot, it's very strange, it's a weird looking knot, all twists and turns and everything. You can see where all the tips and stuff all gel together, even though it's a bore, it does sort of have that gelling thing going on. Oh, it smells superb. 30 mil, very low loft, and it works brilliantly. It's such a, such a nice knot to use. I don't know why I keep saying such a, such a, I don't know, maybe going through an Italian spurt, I don't bloody know. So, started off with this one. Now this, just shaved my head not long ago there, and did a great job, very smooth and comfortable, so I don't know what happened. Very rough and tuggy around the lip. It was all right on the cheek, wasn't too bad, but I switched over to this bad boy, my Custom True Dick 7 8s, English Point, Barber Notch, and Damascus Steel. And it was just head and shoulders above in terms of smoothness and comfortable and being able to hold it better. Just a better shaving razor all around. And then finished off with what, in my opinion, is the best razor on the planet the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. This one is the open comb. At this stage in time, I still prefer the BNC plate close comb. I find it's just a touch too efficient, but I do get my closest shaves from this open comb. And that one is one of the best I've had, I have to say, I get a little bit of redness here. But other than that, it's certainly one of the closest, most comfortable shaves I've had for many reason. And that post shave feel, it's like silk, it's like satin, but my skin doesn't feel dry from the Noble Auto. But I am going to finish off with what, in my opinion, once again, is one of the best products on the planet. Moil Grooming Frankenlein Frosted with Menthol. One, two, three splashes of that. Give it a good shape before you use it. Three splashes in your hand. And same for the head, one, two, three. Tell you what, I'm just gonna, don't do this at home kids. Just a little bit here, and that's it now. Wow. Just everything I used today was high quality. In terms of costing, other than the Druidic straight, there's nothing here that's without out of the reach of most people. You know, it's not, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap. You know, you soak around about 20 odd bucks, I think, American. The brush runs about between 70 and 100 dollars American. The car razor is less than 100 dollars American if you get it with a closed comb in the moment. I think it works at about 78 or 80 bucks or something like that for the car razor with one plate, which is outstanding value for the quality of it. Henkel's Frido is a vintage razor. I paid $90 for this one. I don't know what they normally go for, or whether I paid a good price or a bad price. I think I paid a good price for it. It's a very, very well looked after razor. Uh, but the Drew Dick was obviously, it's a lot more money. I think it worked out roughly nearly 400 Australian. I think something like that, but 400 Australian. So it's quite an expense, but you get what you pay for. It's handmade, it's beautifully made, it looks amazing, it feels amazing, it shaves amazing. It's just an all round better razor really really is and the moil grooming after shave splash isn't super expensive for what you get in my opinion it's three small splashes on your hand per shave it will last you a long long time and other than that i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive like and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next shave cheers